going on guys it is fatal reaper day bringing you a video and guys we are on fortnite once again on the hp pavilion gaming laptop before we continue guys be sure as always to hit that like button subscribe and hit the notification bell um so let's get into this video guys we're on creative so this was suggested by a viewer to do a full length video on this and it was a really good idea so thank you for that really didn't think about that for the longest time i've done a video on this but only touched on it briefly so this is a full video. The full entire link video is me on creative in my uh, world. Now it's going to, uh, and this is an FPS test, so we're testing the FPS on Fortnite, on the HP Pavilion, HP Pavilion, um, on creative. So I went to my own little world and just kind of did some builds and stuff like that. Now depending on what you have in your creative world or whatever your, what, whoever's world you're playing in with, uh, you know, possibly more, um, you know, more just stuff in it, like, you can build stuff and everything like that. You you may get some FPS drops. So, the first thing you're seeing is competitive settings that I have it set on, and we got anywhere from nearly 200 to 300 FPS. It was crazy. Um, of course, on you know um, creative, you're going to get more FPS and things like that. I do do a complete epic settings test here in just a second, and we got about 60ish, 70ish frames. So that's kind of normal. That's kind of what we'd get in game as well. On my previous video, as you guys saw, if you did see that, you can check it out. It was a Seasons 7 test on the HP Pavilion. We got about 60 or 70 uh, FPS on uh, Epic settings. We did get the same, though, on here in Creative. I do do a low settings test as well, and we got close to right at 300. It was at the 250 range. You can see here we're getting about the 200-ish, 230 range um, for competitive settings. But, um, yeah, so I did a high settings, too, and we got about 100 FPS solid on the high settings test. So this is, again, the creative test. Um, you get a lot more frames, typically, on creative, because there's not that much to uh, load sometimes, depending on. So, like, if you were having 1v1s in creative, you would probably get a lot more FPS um, if you do st certain certain um, maps and stuff like that that people have set up are not really, there's nothing really on them besides hills and a little bit of, like, water. And so you're probably going to get more FPS. When you're in game, though, it has to load all the uh, structures and everything else, and that's why you're getting lower FPS, even no matter the settings, usually. But right here, you can see the epic settings we got. We got about 60 to 70 FPS, like I was telling you guys. And laptop still plays smoothly as well. Um, had it for almost a year now. We'll be doing a video follow up on that here in the next few months. Um, it's been almost right out a year here, and like I believe it's two or three more months, and it will be right out a year I've had it. Um, so it's been pretty much a year for the most part. Um, we'll be doing a year-long video, and I'll be telling you guys everything that's happened with it, little quirks or anything like that. Again, guys, if you have any comments or any questions, please leave me some comments down below. I will be sure to get back to you as fast as I possibly can. I try to get back to everyone as fast as I possibly can, and I try to do all the videos that people want to see. So thank you to the viewer who suggested this. I hadn't really thought about it and given it much thought. But here is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe as, as always, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.